It was love at first bite for Stephen Moyer and Anna Paquin. Almost literally. The couple's steamy on-screen romance turned into a real-life love story that True Blood fans went crazy for. I, uh, I got this cute English dude. Yeah, and, you got and, him. Yeah, and I, I got to take him home. That was, that was fun. <laughs> Twelve years later, the couple is still happier than ever. But their union didn't come without a few bumps in the road. Sit tight while we dive into how Steven and Anna fell in love and their secret to a long-lasting marriage. For those of you who haven't seen True Blood, we suggest you do so immediately, because you're missing out on a lot of very hot, very shirtless, delicious vampire men. Aside from that, the chemistry between Anna's character Suki and Steven's character Bill had us all fanning ourselves, and now we know why. The pair met when they had to do a screen test for the show in 2008, and their connection was instant. Uh, we did a screen test opposite each other. I already had the job, so he was... Oh, so you were the woman with power. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Steven shared the moment they first met. We were both single at the time, and there was just this kind of spark. Naturally, things really started heating up between the two when they started filming. True Blood is certainly not short of its very intimate and seductive scenes between the characters, and with both Moira and Paquin being single, we can imagine that their spark turned into an explosion. I mean, all the stuff that we shoot, sort of, all the sex stuff is always quite sort of melodramatic and there's fangs and there's blood and there's all kinds of stuff that just, you know, I mean, I, I don't know about your bedroom, but doesn't happen in mine. Following their screen test, the pair didn't see each other for three months until they started filming. Steven said, by day three or four, oh, this is going to sound so syrupy, but I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. It was within seconds, really and it just became a thing. So what began as an on-screen romance soon turned into an off-screen love affair. At the time, Anna was 26 years old, while Steven was 39. But their 13-year age gap didn't get in the way of them falling head over heels for one another. Moyer also had two children from his previous relationships. Although we couldn't find any information on his first wife, we know that they had one child together, a son they named Billy. Stephen had also dated fellow actress Lorraine Haynes for seven years, and they welcomed a daughter named Lilac. At the beginning of their romance, the couple tried to keep their budding relationship under wraps. Stephen shared, It was very important to me that they didn't feel it was fickle. We didn't want to take anything away from the show. However, in 2009, the couple confirmed their relationship to the public, and Stephen couldn't help but gush over his beloved. He said, We are together. It's exciting, and that was there from day one. We're very, very happy. She's the best. That same year, the couple went off to Hawaii for a romantic getaway, and Moira got down on one knee and popped the big question to Paquin. She was elated and, of course, said yes. They got married the following year inside a private Malibu villa. Among the event's guests were actor Elijah Wood and fellow True Blood co-stars Carrie Preston, Ryan Quantin, and Sam Trammell. However, following their marriage, Anna received a large amount of backlash regarding her sexuality. Not long before she and Steven wed, the actress came out as bisexual in a PSA video promoting the Give a Damn campaign, which featured celebrities speaking out for equality. She shared, I'm Anna Paquin, I'm bisexual, and I give a damn. However, after she married Steven, there were many people that claimed that her marriage to a man erased her bisexuality. Anna was very quick to snap back with a tweet, writing, I'm a proud bisexual who is married to a wonderful human who happens to be a man. Anna shared a screen grab on her Instagram story of a user comment that read, I'm getting tired of seeing bi celebrities constantly advocate for it, only to end up conventionally married to men with multiple children, living out the so-called white picket fence life. She also explained, For a bisexual, it's not about gender. That's not the deciding factor for who they're attracted to. Adding that if her husband doesn't have a problem with her sexuality, why should anyone else? Since then, the actress has been a very vocal supporter of the LGBTQ community and won't stand for those who have tried to relabel her sexuality. In an interview, Paquin addressed the negative stereotypes that surround bisexuality. Anna said, It just felt weird being assumed to be straight because I was married to a man. She added, one day there will be a time when it just won't be a big deal, but while it's still literally illegal and punishable by death to be LGBTQ plus in multiple countries across the planet, then yeah, I'm gonna keep talking about it. In 2012, the couple announced that they were expecting their first child, 
A few months later, Paquin discovered that she was actually carrying twins. Later that year, reps for the couple shared the exciting news that Anna had given birth to their children. The twins arrived a few weeks before their planned due date, but were both healthy and happy babies. The couple were overjoyed with the new members of their family, but chose not to reveal the names and genders of their babies. Finally, Moya revealed that they had chosen Charlie for their son and Poppy for their little girl. What about the twins? Are you going to take a break and be with the babies? I'm, I'm not really looking to work for the next few months after this ends. I've got family stuff I want to do. We're going to take the babies home to New Zealand. A year later, Stephen and Anna were breathing a little easier when the twins celebrated their first birthday. Stephen shared an update on how the kids were doing. It's all so amazing and they had a tough start. They were early and it was touch and go there for a while, and so anything is amazing. I was just saying, they are spitting up their first solid food. It's fantastic. However, the actor also expressed that he and Anna constantly worried about the health of their children after their premature birth. He explained that it consumed their every thought and sometimes they were able to cope with it and sometimes they weren't. He added, Sometimes you wake up and you're desperately terrified. You're so tired you can't do anything. So you just get through it like anyone else. Stephen also said he doesn't want his children to grow up too fast. They're nuts, he said, of their growing personalities. I think Anna's very excited about them walking and I'm like, just wait, our lives are over once that happens. Since the babe's introduction to the world, Paquin has remained resolute in her desire to keep them as far from the spotlight as she can. She explained, you won't find any pictures of my children. That's a choice we made very specifically. I want the right to say that they're not fair game. In 2014, True Blood aired its final season. The show had grown so popular among fans with its cheeky plots, fantasy, gore, and of course, its abundance of sex. How, what, am I allowed to be quite yes. rude? Yeah, yeah. Where I went down on my wife and then, and then got in there and bit her neck and then put the blood from her neck into her own mouth and then sucked it back out again. Wow, that's very graphic, right, Dan? Paquin's character, Suki, has slept with nearly everyone on the show. And some would think that all the intimacy with their co-stars would have added some stress to her marriage with Steven. However, this was far from the case. In fact, Moyer even directed his wife in one of the episodes. When people are like, oh, was it hard to be directed by him? Like, my husband shot a sex scene that I had with Joe Manganiello one season on True Blood. I don't think it gets weirder than that. He explained, the main thing that Anna has taught me is absolute transparency and honesty and truth. Even if you know that what you'll say will hurt a woman's feelings, I've learned that it's better to be truthful with her than it is to cover up. Ultimately, honesty is what a relationship is really about. Even after seven years of working together, Paquin and Moya are still ready, willing, and able to collaborate with one another. Anna shared, We're very, very, very comfortable and happy working together. It's our happy place. It's how we met. It's how we fell in love. I've got a long-term dream to direct Anna in something because we have a shorthand and an understanding and I truly think she's one of the most phenomenal actresses on the planet. The couple has now been married for 12 years and when it comes to the secret of what makes their marriage work, Anna says it all comes down to the fact that she and Moya are each other's best friends. She shared, we want nothing but good things for each other. His successes are my successes and vice versa and we're just really lucky. In a rare Instagram post, the actress shared a selfie of the pair together, alongside a heartfelt message. She wrote, I'm always so grateful we get to have careers we are passionate about, and even more so after this crazy last year. But damn, the long distance thing never gets any easier. Hashtag my person. In 2021, for the American Underdog premiere, the couple shared which one of their TV shows and movies is totally off limits for their kids. Naturally, Steven said that their twins had never watched True Blood. When asked if they ever will, the couple had the same answer. Paquin responded, never. Moyer added, never, if it's anything to do with us. Of course, their twins are only nine years old, and the show has been rated R and not recommended for anyone under the age of 18, so that all makes complete sense. Anna and Steven fell in love on set, and their romance has lasted more than a decade. They have been supportive of each other through it all, from Paquin's backlash against her sexuality to the premature birth of their twins. The fact that they keep their kids out of the spotlight only shows how much they value their family bubble and how important it is to maintain a normal childhood for their kids. 
It really is a dream come true for True Blood fans to see Anna and Steven living happily ever after, and we couldn't be more thrilled for the couple. We only wish them the best for their future, and we can't wait to see what it holds for them.